What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, yeah. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shneeko J, and I'm back with another video. So today, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how I did this top knot bun. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm a little late on it, Um, but it's been trending for a minute, and um, mine look a little raggedy. But that shit was hard. Like, especially the swoop part. This part was hard as hell, y'all. I ain't gonna even hold y'all, stall y'all, or lie to you. Because, baby, girl, shit was hard as fuck. Like, how I make it look so easy? And, y'all, do these eyelashes at the bottom make me look creepy? Because if it do, I'm taking them hoes off. Like, don't even lie. Like, let me know in the comments because I won't even do it again. If so, you, do you hear me, though? Do you hear me, though? But anyways, y'all, I tried this little look. I put the little clips on it. Um... I thought this would be cute on the side. Cause I, I, I just thought it would be cute. But y'all, if y'all want to see how I got this look, y'all stay tuned. And we're going to get right into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think and how I did below. Let me tell you, y'all, this bun was so freaking hard to do. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't know why they won't tell y'all in the beginning. But, like, just this part right here to swoop it up was so hard. And my hair was not flat iron. I only flat on the front piece. So it was, like, difficult. So, yeah. But anyways, y'all, we're going to get right into this video. So y'all stay tuned. And let's get it. Let's go. When was the last time I told you how? Hey y'all, so I just jumped right in. I am just sectioning my hair off in the front. So I I was watching the video exactly how she did it, and that's exactly how I did it. Um, that's crazy how I'm a YouTuber and I'm watching another YouTuber. <laughs> we all gotta learn some somehow. Anyways, y'all, so I'm sectioning it off the piece I want, the amount that I want in the front of my forehead. You do it to your liking, and I'm gonna go ahead and braid it off and move it to the side. And then I'm just going to work on the ponytail. I'm just going to basically just slick my ponytail up. I'm going to be using this Edge Control by Kiss. Um, this is Sweetie's uh, Edge Control line. Or she like sponsored in it or whatever. But it's a real good Edge Control, y'all. But like it's super thick and like it turned white. But it do hold your hair down. It held my edges down for all day. So it does work. But that's what I use. And I'm like, uh. It was too like... It's just for edges, basically. It's not to, like, slick your hair up because it's so, uh, like, it won't move around a lot when you put it on your hair. So I basically just did that to try it out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab something else. So I grabbed this gel. And this is the Eco Black gel I wanted to try. Um, I don't really like it. But I do like the, uh, that one that I always was using back in the day. And I'm just going to basically just slick my hair up, y'all. And I'm just slicking it up. And y'all, I'm not going to talk through this whole video because it's kind of like a look and learn, basically. And when I put my hair in a ponytail, um, I'm going to go ahead and work on the front piece, y'all. When I got to the front piece, it was very hard because, y'all, I don't know what. It looked easy, but it was really hard for me to swoop it and pull it up to the top. So it took me a while. It took me like an hour to do this hairstyle. I don't know why it took me so long, but the front of my hair was just not working out. But y'all, I'm going to let this video play out because there's no need for me to like talk through the whole video. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my baby hairs. And then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and twist up my ponytail. And y'all, when I twisted up my ponytail, that was hard too. Um, I would advise you guys to use just regular braiding hair instead of tracks. Because tracks would just give me a hard time. So you can just use some regular braiding hair and just put it on your hair and just start twisting it up. And y'all, I'm going to leave this right here and let this video play out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you've seen. And I am gone. Peace out. Wait, y'all, one more thing. When I was using this blasting spray, it was so hard for me to comb my hair out. So I advise you don't over D, over D. Don't overdo the freaking blasting spray. I promise you, your hair will be super hard and stuck, and we don't want that. So just don't overdo it, y'all. I swear it was, like, hurting to comb my hair out and everything. You would have to, like, wash your hair right after. So, And I didn't want to wash my hair right after because my hair was already clean. So I was like, wow, I had to comb out section by section because it was stuck. And then, y'all, I went in and flat ironed my hair with this weak-ass flat iron. I'm sorry. I had to cuss, y'all. The flat iron was so freaking weak. I got this flat iron for $200. It came with the flat iron. It came with the blow dryer. And it came with, like, a curling iron from this thing called Lange. It's a company called Lange. And I do not recommend it. Don't buy it. If you see it on any ads or anything, I don't recommend it at all. It, like, does not work for, um, it does not work for my texture here. And I don't know. Everybody in the comments is just like, oh, my God, this is the best thing I ever purchased. But, you know, some people get paid a lot. So, I think that's what it is in the comments. That flat iron did not do no justice to my hair at all. Like, even when I first got it, I'm like, what the? 
I was better off getting a freaking flat iron from for one of them people in the mall. You know them people that be in the mall harassing you, talking about let me flat iron your hair? Yeah, I could have got one from them for $200, and it would have worked very, very fine. But that one I had is a no. Like, look how many times I had to go over my hair. I had to add oil just for it to get straight. I was just I was just over it. I'm like, no, this is not straight enough for me. I, st I will stick with the Walmart flat iron. It is what it is. And, y'all, I'm going in with this bundle of hair. Um, I found this bundle here in my dang closet, so I'm not even sure where it came from. <laughs> but sorry for the quality change. If y'all noticed, uh, my camera had run out of storage, so I had to use my phone. I feel like I bought a camera for nothing. It's really not necessary. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around my hair and then go ahead and show you guys how I do the ponytail part. So that is, ex uh, I think that's basic. I don't, wouldn't have to explain that, but you just wrap the tracks around as if you're going to do one of them little ponytails that people be doing just like that and then you're just gonna go ahead and wrap 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 and then after that i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to twist it and when you twist it you're just twisting it real real tight and it's gonna form into whatever it's gonna form to see like i'm just twisting it twisting it twisting it and it's just giving me whatever it's giving me form it's forming into, into something like a dookie territory or whatever it is <laughs> but y'all yeah so i'm out peace out So this is the finished look y'all i hope you guys like it um i want to show you the whole little thing so it's just like this and i'm gonna try to spin the camera around so this is the finished look and this is with my natural hair um i don't have any perms or anything like that but i did go in and flat on it and straighten it but y'all this is the finished look and i hope you guys like it i'm gonna lay some pictures down um at the end of this video so you guys can get a better look um so yeah y'all i hope y'all liked it um i'm gonna go ahead and go post me some instagram pictures so make sure you follow me on instagram i'm being way more active on there posting pictures and being more interactive with y'all and um uh, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for my next video i just dropped my eyelash line i dropped my eyelash line a couple weeks ago and those lashes had sold out but this time i have a fresh batch these are about to sell out too but i just want to let y'all know before they sell out like my city been showing out so but i want to post them so you guys can see the eyelashes i have i have on a pair as well right now too and these are, what are these? I don't know what this is, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. And it's going to be like right here. And I'm going to show y'all what eyelashes I have. Um, but anyways, yeah, yeah. So when I post my eyelashes, make sure I go purchase some. 
um i've been selling them for eight dollars i did try to test the waters with the tin and i feel like y'all wouldn't really fucking with that in fresno so um i'm gonna just pick either eight or ten maybe like ten for my new styles and eight for all my old styles but y'all i am working on the website too um and i'm working on a lot of stuff i had to delete my facebook for a minute because i was just getting overwhelmed and i just was not feeling it do these eyelashes look funny let me know if they look funny in the comments, because I will take these hoes off. Ain't nobody trying to look like Halloween. Halloween coming up, and it is not the time right now to each other like a goddamn fool. But anyways, y'all, back with this bun. I hope y'all like the bun. Um, I did my best, y'all. Like, it was hard to wrap it. Um, I suggest you use fake hair and not tracks, because when you use tracks, it just makes it lumpy at the bottom. And it make it hard to just, like, maintain it. And I wanted the messy, not bun look, so that's what I was going for. So if you think it's ugly, then, sis, I don't know what to tell you. So this is how I wanted it to be. So, yeah. Up high like that. So, um, yeah, like a little turd. little dookie emoji. <clears throat> right here. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. So, this is... Oh, oh, drop the goddamn phone. I'm back in the gutter. Um, so, y'all, I'm finna run to the mall and uh, figure out what I'm finna do today. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, you like what you've seen, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell me what you think down in the comments of how I did. Um, my little things, I love these, y'all. I got them from Dee Dee. I got them from Didi's for $1.99. Get y'all some, okay? Didi's near you. Like, stop playing with Didi's. Don't fucking play with Didi's like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But anyways, y'all, I'm out. I hope you like what you've seen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me. I haven't sung in so long, girl. I don't even know how to sing no more. Y'all, and I put gel on my hair. I advise y'all don't do gel. Because if you do gel, it'll curl up like mine's is doing right now. And we ain't gonna worry about that because I'm gonna take this down and do me a regular style tomorrow. I'm gonna do a regular bun tomorrow, y'all. I'm trying to work on my natural hair with y'all because I know y'all tired of wigs. Like everybody can afford wigs and everybody like them. And nobody wanna wear them like that because it's kind of hot. So, I'm doing a bun tomorrow. Straight back bun tomorrow. And y'all stay tuned for that. And when I drop my eyelashes on my YouTube channel, make sure you follow me. Uh, I already have a website. I mean, I already have a Instagram for it. It is Pretty Girl Meets on youtube i mean on instagram i'm gonna leave it right here pretty girl mink so make sure i go ahead and follow that page i'm gonna be doing a giveaway for that and i'm doing another wig giveaway so y'all stay tuned and i'm out love y'all peace